taps his feet when he does bench press. It's hilarious. Taps his feet. Taps yeah. his feet. He's pushing the weight. There's little, just little taps <laughs> of his really feet. Really struggling. <laughs> like, dude, might be too heavy. <laughs> and we're back, Buzzsaw. Here Look we at are. us. Oh, we, God. I can touch don't you. Don't touch me. I'm touching don't you. Don't fucking touch me. I can touch you. I really don't I, want you to touch me. I can me. touch you, but I can't kiss you. You can. I can't kiss I'm you. I'm going to kiss you. Don't you kiss oh. me. Keep your mouth away from me, you COVID-ridden bitch. That's not what you said five minutes ago. <laughs> it's it. Hello. We're back. Look ah, at it. We're back. We are back in business. We're back. Look at the, the camera. Boys. There's cameras. Hello, camera. There's camera one. Hello, Change people. camera. Home. Boom. And now I'm over here. Oh. Look at that. Technology. And now you look over there. Boom, and then you're in That's that the one. Camera. You're in that one. Look That's at this. There are our, so many cameras. And there's cameras. also a camera up by Oracle, spike all the way up there. Look at that. Hello, Oracle. With fours up. With fours up, we usually you go usually twos go up. Giant. Look at me. I'm like Andre the Giant over here. I look like I look like uh, Rikishi's bastard son. You are Rikishi's bastard son. Didn't you know that? <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> okay. Your mum told me last time I was I'm, around. I'm Fatu Junior. <laughs> You're definitely fatty. <laughs> Fatter. <laughs> Fatter. Depressingly fat. And now you can see it all in all its glory. It's very glorious. Oh, God. But we are working hard. We've been back down the gym together. Have we? We have been back down the gym I, together. I went one time. Oracle doesn't go anymore. Oracle. Oracle. What's going on with the gym? Tell us. They go give the mic. Oracle doesn't have a mic at the moment. Or hopefully, hopefully we can fix this because I not feel taking the microphone off me either. So that doesn't help. So Oracle doesn't want to talk. She's 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 checking out. She's done. She's <laughs> she's had done. enough of this. She's had enough of us rambling. Every guys, I don't want to be on the podcast anymore. Guys, guys, I don't want to be. I don't want to be a dick, but I'm so fucking over you. That's exactly <laughs> what she sounds like as well. Like a camp man. That's Oracle's voice down to it. That a was my woman voice. <laughs> That was your woman's voice? If I was a woman, that is exactly how my voice would sound. Let's, let's try this out. So, uh, I'm a guy. Okay. Let's imagine. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's difficult with my lesbian haircut. <laughs> <laughs> your viscera haircut that you've got. I'm bringing it back to viscera old Mabel over here. I love Mabel. Oh, good old Mabel. not an insult. <laughs> good old Mabes. <laughs> okay, so you're a woman, I'm a man. Okay. Hey, uh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine today. <laughs> I don't know what that voice would changed again. <laughs> it's a very I have voice. multiple women's voices. You do? I, I don't do. know why. I have, I have a plethora of women's I'm voices. Why do you have so many women's voices? Every now and then you've got to disguise yourself. You've got to... <laughs> you know, some, some person's after you on the phone, like somebody calls up a PPI. Get one of those PPI calls, an 020 number. you got to you got to try and bullshit them. And they're like, is that, is that, is that Mr. Bird? And I'm like, Mr. Burden's not here today. <laughs> And they buy that shit? And they buy it. They're like, oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job it's over the phone. I don't know how you're going to hide the beer. <laughs> exactly. They just think my, my balls haven't dropped. That's that's probably their their. That's probably what it is. And yeah, have they my dropped? phone is ringing. Oh, you got a call from a girl. Oh, and I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is a hardcore fucking stud. <laughs> People always call me at the most inappropriate times. And it's the last few weeks people have tried calling me during the podcast. Yeah, my mum calls me every time on the podcast, without a doubt. Yeah, and you then when you then call her after the podcast and we're still talking as we were over Skype. Fuck you, Skype. <laughs> you wanker. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it was great for the time that we had, but now if we go if we go into another fucking lockdown, I'm going to shoot someone in the head. I'm never doing a Skype call again. I'm done with Skype. I am so over Skype. Or it's, Zoom or any of those other bullshit things. It's just, it's been the worst fucking time. It started off great, but then it really started to get tedious very quickly. I About would, five minutes into the first session five, back yeah, the, was, on the relaunch. But now we're on the re-relaunch. Oh, it's a re-relaunch. Because the boys are back in the studio, the oh, glorious the studio. the boys are back in town, Look at this. bitches. We are here. It's not even a studio, it's my living room. Exactly. We're in Buzzsaw's <laughs> and Oracle's living room. It looks it looks like a studio, though, kind of. Kind of to a degree. Better know. lighting. Need better lighting. We need better lighting. Uh, there's still lots of technical shit. Yeah, I mean, how long did it take us to start today? About three hours? It's taken us about three hours about today. Three and, hours. and we spent all evening yesterday going over stuff as well. <laughs> Planning. Planning. <laughs> we ended up eating fried chicken watching R.I.P.D. <laughs> planning i don't 
<laughs> I don't think we watched any. But there's both of us like trying to get on a health kick, and we end up ordering a fuck ton, and I mean a fuck ton of fried chicken. There were so many <laughs> there chips. Was so much. We, there were so, so many, many chips. There was pretty much like a like the whole basket that they put into the deep fat fryer. They just emptied that into a box <laughs> and sent it to us. <laughs> like no wonder. Was just full up with chips. I couldn't even get chicken on the plate. They said forty minute delivery time. Two hours later, they arrived. No wonder it took them so freaking long to deliver this food because there was just so much of it. There was a platter worth of, like, it was a meal for Vikings. That was a like, lot of potatoes. It was a lot of that. potatoes. And they <laughs> raided a field's a, worth of potatoes. They, they raided a freaking field, man. How they many were, hectares is that? <laughs> there was at least about five acres in that. <laughs> five acres worth of potatoes. And the chicken was like the wings. I swear to God, it was like a freaking pterodactyl. These were <laughs> mutant chickens. These were mutant. I don't know what chemicals they pumped these are into forest these forest chickens. <laughs> Whatever they pumped into these poor fuckers, I don't know. <laughs> but they, there was these <laughs> they, these chickens had fucking muscles for days. <laughs> like these are definitely some juicy chickens. <laughs> these man. are some juicy chickens. They, they these are fucking roid. <laughs> these, these are some roid chickens, man. <laughs> They do not get past the wellness policy. <laughs> they do not get past the. They're so fucking past the wellness <laughs> policy. <laughs> but fucking hell! But uh, oh, it just feels so good to be back in person, though, doesn't it? it yeah, feels it feels so pretty good. good actually. I didn't, I didn't think it would because I don't like you very much. Oh, you know, I'm done. But, but now you're here, I'm, I'm quite happy. There you go. See, I, I change people's minds over Skype. I'm a real piece of shit. Yeah, I would say so. But That's then why when no you see me in person, before. exactly. But then when you see me in person, it, it becomes a bit more of a. Okay. Oh yeah, he's not such a big, big. Yeah, dick. more like a tiramisu than a disgusting piece of shit. That's a great, great analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too harsh? I don't know. Was that I too feel harsh? Like it was. I'm, I'm a bit cut to the core. I didn't, I didn't mean to call you a disgusting I'll piece of shit. I punch you in right the now. head with this microphone. Please don't. I've seen you punch. This is a swing. <laughs> yes, I, we've been doing some boxing training down the gym as well. A little bit, a little bit, yeah, hitting little bit the heavy bag. Training. And uh, saw, I, I thought I could punches. punch, and then, and then I saw him punch, and it turns out <laughs> I can't punch for shit. <laughs> well, I do have like like years of training of boxing in, in, in me. Yeah, and point. I have years of wrestling training, and we found out that when, when I punch, punch, you're still I stomp stamping. The floor. <laughs> Even boxing. <laughs> I'm punching the heavy bag. <laughs> You're literally doing dusty road punches <laughs> on the, I'm on the punch to hit the bag. Elbow on it. <laughs> Fucking bionic elbowing. <laughs> so yeah, it turns out Buzz saw punches like a like a like a pussy. Um, I got hooks though. Yeah, okay. They, they're good hooks. Not my hooks. I don't know, man. You got you got <laughs> long range hooks. I get in close. I'll, I'll rip your body out. I'd like to have us in a fight. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, to be honest. <laughs> oh, what, what kind of fight? Are we talking boxing or are we talking I can throw my kicks? Because i got kicks for days. I'm not going to do kicks. I'm talking boxing. I'm trained in boxing. Yeah, that's not a fight, though, is it? That's, that's well, a boxing match. That's a fight of, of You sorts. want a fight? I'm talking like a street fight. I'll gouge your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't back me into a corner. I'm like a fucking rat. <laughs> a rat. I'm like a fucking rat in a, a corner. Rat. Yeah, well, I'm like I a will scratch bull. through you. I'll eat you. you can eat I get me. a locked jaw when I fight. You can you can you can eat me. You got what you got scraped by some rusty metal. I just got <laughs> develop lockjaw in moments before the fight. That's what happened. I didn't get my tetanus jab. You didn't get the tetanus jab. Have you had your COVID jab yet? Not yet. Have you? I have not had my. COVID There's only jab. one person who's had their COVID jab. Big Oracle. The big O. With a big injection. <laughs> the big V. The big V. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> the big vaccination. <laughs> <laughs> the Big V. The Big V. <laughs> well, what do you feel about the Big V being your new nickname? <laughs> the Big V. <laughs> that could mean so many different she things. She said she'd pass on that, by the way. <laughs> she said she could pass. <laughs> I would as well. I you would. don't want to be the Big V? I wouldn't want to be the Big V. Big Viscera? Big Vis. Big Daddy V? Big Daddy V. Big D. I'll be the Big D. It would be like kind of like an ironic big D. It's kind of overcompensating, it right? It is very overcompensating. Yeah, you can call me the Little D. We'll just, we'll just call you... I don't know. All right, calm down. <laughs> That's generous. Yes. Generous at best. Yeah, it is. She would know. But uh, what have you been doing since our last our last uh, session? Well, when was our last session? A week last ago? Last session was a week ago. I this went to the gym 15. with you. That was it. You did. That was it. That's all you've done. Well, I did a little bit more than that. What else have you done? Tell I went me. to the gym Come by on. myself, too. You went to the gym by yourself? Yeah, I went swimming. You went swimming? Yeah, well, tell I'm us, tell jacked us, right now. I don't know if you've noticed. Tell us, tell us what you wear when you swim. A speedo. You wear a fucking speedo. Yeah, I wear a speedo. Who doesn't wear a speedo when they swim? Me. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. 
don't know. Aquadynamic. I just, I just don't. I just. Nobody wants to see anyone in a speedo. I see you're cocking your leg there. Are you farting again? I'm not. This is how Oracle's was... told me to sit because apparently it's better but for the camera. You're cocking your leg like you're about to let one loose. No, it's just a bit. And I'm, I'm wary one... because you're pointing more towards me now than you was earlier. Don't worry. Basically, Buzzsaw has been like flatulent Fred all evening. It's not fratulent. Fratulent. Frat, fratulent. Oh, yeah. I'm very fratulent this evening. I'm very fratulent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will take the piss out of Buzzsaw. It's, Fucking, you I invite give... you round to my house. <laughs> You come in, just rip the piss out of me because I fought a little bit. See, Oracle ran away at one point. Yeah. She literally ran away. She's like, oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it all. Fucking farting again. Yeah, like, so Oracle, it could just confirmed, if you can't hear her, Buzzsaw's farts have been so bad lately. Like, today, to be fair, they haven't smelt, but I understand why Oracle would run out the room. She has to live with this 24-7. I'm in and out. I check in when I want, and I check out when I want. You know, so I can get away from this. Oracle is within air range of this. It's like an airstrike. It's it's, it's like Chernobyl in here. I didn't know this was going to be fucking pick on Bronson Day. <laughs> I can't help you. Give me the ammunition. I can't help it. It's what I do. You put a camera in front of me to start insulting people left, right, and center. It's just a fart, man. <laughs> Get over it. It's, it's just, just a it's fart, just some, man. It's just some gas from your ass that stinks. <laughs> That's all it is. Just chill it's out. A, it's just some toxic radiation coming from inside <laughs> me. I can't help it. What What is a fart, though? Is it methane? Um, is that just cow farts? I, I, I would assume it's some form of methane or uh, some noxious That's gas. That's the smell, right? That's why you smell it, because it's the methane. I potentially I don't I honestly don't know the science behind a fart. Can you get a methane detector? Do you think um, a Geiger counter would <laughs> would work? It'd work for me. <laughs> it just fires like a <laughs> <laughs> little thing just starts bouncing. Thing just fucking bounces going, oh shit. Thinks like a fucking whole like nuclear plan has just imploded on itself. Sends warnings <laughs> off to the government. Start getting messages on our phone. That's one of the one things that I worry about, because if there is ever a problem with like uh, like if there is like an apocalypse that's one of the things that will drop down is these nuclear power plants i don't know if we've spoken about this before on on one of like the reviews for like walking we, we, dead we may have, have uh, briefly like we, touched on I it i feel like we may but have touched on it explain yourself i'm interested well basically it cuz if these things go a man so if there was like a zombie apocalypse the uh, the nuclear plants they they would just like go unmanned and they would just like go into meltdown I don't know. I feel like they have safety features to stop that happening. Yeah, but how long will those safety features last? If there's a safety, safety, yeah, blah, blah, blah. a safety feature in place, surely it's got like a point where it does kind of just switch off. I don't think so. I, I don't think, think that's these, how safety features these work. These things, but if it goes into like a, like a meltdown, I think there needs to be somebody to say, oh shit, press the button, boom, put it into place. That sounds really dangerous. Surely I've got an autopilot. I don't know. I feel like they're, they're, they're basically, this is the whole thing. Like my, I have some friends that. I don't know if they still do this comic. I haven't spoken to them in a long, long time. They're really nice guys. Um, but they had a comic called School of Bitches. What's their names? Um, we've got Alan Stealth. Big shout out, Alan Stealth. Big old Al. Um, and then we've got uh, Dahlia as well, David Dahlia. David Dahlia, you the man. Um, uh, yeah, I don't. He, I knew he moved back to Malta at one point. I don't know if they are still doing this. I don't think they are. Malta? But it was a really, really, really cool comic. Um, that they did like a graphic novel like I literally he would draw everything by hand in so much detail like it would take him such a long time to do all of this stuff it's really really impressive what was it called Chino Chinobro it, no <laughs> that would be a good one uh, no it's called it was called School of Bitches it's something they came up with like years and years and years and years ago like when they were kids and they decided to stick with that which I thought was quite cool like it's a little cool I like it that. School of Bitches what up um, this was SOB like the little thing but they used to go to like uh, Comic Cons over in Malta and in different places and stuff like they they were doing well, really they really were well. invited or they bought tickets they, i think they were no they were invited oh, they, were, they, were they, actual, had, they were actual they had their own this stands. wasn't like something they did in their sketchbook this was like a real well, this was like a real thing oh, that they sold shit. it was in comic stores i'll buy one like it was really cool i, I really hope they actually still have it because i would buy one of those um and yeah the whole story was is basically like there was a nuclear fallout and this is one of the th like the things it, these these plants had gone out and like they would look there was a website that they had where you could map where all of the uh, nuclear plants were and what kind of radius and how far it would spread. And they figured out with all the ones that were around, Cardiff was the safe spot. Oh, we're pretty good then. So we, if we, if this ain't shit's going down, 
I'm off to Cardiff. If they can give, <laughs> give us an hour warning, we'll be fine. If we got an hour warning, we'll be off. <laughs> Because from here and I think from my, I think even you've got less than less than an hour. Less than an hour. You come to mine first, and we'll go to Cardiff. We'll, we'll together. fucking split together. We'll just like, fuck my family. I'll leave. Yeah, we'll leave home. Big O here. Fuck Big you. O, sorry, Big O. <laughs> this is uh, this not is, enough room in the car. This is how we do. I'm afraid, <laughs> boys. Boys will be boys. Yeah. What did you do? Big oh, o. we left Big O. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to her? She's probably just a husk now. <laughs> Radiation <laughs> zombie. Radiated. To, just crumbled. Just skin. The skin peeling off of her, and I don't think you can be a zombie at this point. I think you'd just be gone. This is a <laughs> goner. I don't think this is a zombie situation it's at this like point. Like a Terminator Two situation. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm th- that. That's one of the things. So I think like nuclear plants, they they were they would if they were unmanned, they would just react and break down. There's another show I really like called uh, The Last Man on Earth. Yeah, yeah, we um, talked about that a lot of uh, times. Yeah. Love the show. I'm rewatching it again at the moment. Um, I can't rewatch it because it doesn't have an ending. I hate shows when they, do you know they don't end them and then I can't yeah. rewatch it. And it does annoy me. I, I saw like a post on Facebook and I can't remember who it was. And I was like, I think it was like Netflix put put it up and said, "What show um, are you sad that got cancelled or something like that?" And I was like, "Last Man on Earth. Buy it, you sons of bitches. Give it an act. Let, let them have their ending." And did they respond to you? No, of course they fucking didn't. There's like a million other responses. <laughs> oh, they tease you. They, they ask they, a they question. Do. They don't really want you to I hope, answer I, I would assume they're probably taking note of it to say, well, should we put one of these up? They better take some notes. But I don't feel like Last Man on Earth gets enough love because you mentioned it. Someone's like, oh, what the fuck's that? I don't know. I, I think anybody I've mentioned that to is like, oh, that's a funny show. I like I that. get a lot. Yeah, I get that from a few people, but a majority of people is like, what is that? You know what it is? It, it's in the same lines as My Name is Earl. Yeah, there's like a few people that love it, and then a lot of people just don't know what it is. Yeah, and, and that's, that got cancelled as and well, I, right? Do you know what? I think it did. Yeah, and my name is L. I noticed as well. If you've got Disney Plus um, on the stars thing that they put on there, my name is L. Has recently come on there. I noticed. I was like, oh yeah, fucking getting on that. What next. a show! What a great show! I'm currently rewatching Scrubs. I'm back on the Scrubs vibe. Love I Scrubs. told you that I'd stop watching it. I'm back on it again. I'm on season three at the beginning. Elliot's cut her hair now into that kind of like a 2003 oh, choppy she's thing. Bossy now. She's yeah. she's kind of turned into badass she's bad Elliot. Bitch. Like she's dressing differently, but she's still acting what exactly up, the same and still sulking at everybody that that yes. wrongs her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know. No, I'm done. She got real hissy hissy at uh, JD on the last episode I watched because um, an alert went out for like an emergency and JD was like a couple of rooms down, ran out, and got there just before her, and she was pissy at him over that. And I was like. He was just closer. It's just like, I'm sorry. Like, fair enough. You ran to try and get there on time, but unfortunately, he was a bit quicker. And it's like she's making him out to be this massive bad guy. It's like, what has he done wrong? And then he later, did his in, job. Later in the episode, he gets there first, and he's like, Ah, you go ahead. You yeah, do- you're a doctor, man. If you're the first one there, help that motherfucker. Just, don't, don't oh, give it a second. <laughs> Elliot might be here in a minute. <laughs> so. He's, he's coding. He's coding. He's dead. He's just, dead. Just give her a minute, guys. She, she might She'll be, be here. She'll be here. Uh, JD, uh, it's her night off. Fuck! <laughs> and he's dead. He's dead. 708. <laughs> 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 Fucking gone. But no, I've been... Yeah, I've been watching Scrubs. Um, I, there's so much stuff that I need to watch. Um, and there's just, it's just so little time. There's just so, time. so little time. If there's anything we learned from the lockdown, there's infinite time. This, well, I'm do like, obviously, I'm at uni at the moment. Um, so well, I'm having, right now. Not right this moment. Right no, I'm here at the moment, obviously, idiot. Duh. Duh. Um, but no, I've got to go and do all my uni work. There's so much fucking uni work. So much uni yeah, work. You should and do I've your got uni like, work. deadlines. I'm doing it like bit by bit, but it's like I'm into the stage now where I've got to do all the writing for it, and it's the most dull, yeah. dull, dull situation it's just your first year though right this is my first year so just pass and you God. Can, it doesn't matter yeah like this, again the grades don't matter in the first year yeah, it's, so it's like it's like the first like the first year of uni is like whose lines it anyway the points don't matter exactly you just, so <laughs> as long as you get a pass you're golden <laughs> exactly so as long as i get a pass i'm happy and i, I that's what i said i told my lecturers i said i'm aiming for a pass like you can tell me what i'm doing wrong so i can improve next year like i'm yeah, using we'll this as a fig- i'm using this as a figure out year because i need to know what level i'm at for everything else um, but like I, I, I understand it all anyway. Like it's it's pretty black and white what I'm supposed to do. You only do, you know do black I mean? and white Photoshop. No, like it, it, everything that I'm doing is it's it's all black and white. Like the understanding what you've got to do. 
and I would do I, color if I was a graphic designer. And I went into a, you stop being a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I went into uh, like this meeting with like all the student reps. I'm a student rep. Um, I don't know why. Um, no, no perks. Here is our representative. I'm, Here he is. There's two of us. There's, <laughs> there's two of us in my on my co- on my on my course year that are student reps, and there's no, the other guy called Will. Of course. So what the fuck? There were three Wills when I started. I'm like, I'm only ever the other Will, and this there's there's two other guys called that name. When there's a Will, there's a way. One, I think one's just dead. I don't know where he's gone. Brown bread. He disappeared. He come back for a bit. Disappeared again. Don't know what's going on with him. During the floods? Nope. Just gone. Oh. But he's at uni. Like, for some reason, they're using like Snapchat. Snap. Oh, not Snapchat. They use Snapchat as the as the as the group the group chat. I don't Who understand. Who uses Snapchat? I don't understand. They use oh, WhatsApp. Like, exactly. I, I mentioned WhatsApp to one of them, and they said, "Oh, that's an old thing." Well, what? <laughs> I was like, "I am twenty. Shit. I am twenty nine. I've just been fucking like." Shit on by a twenty-one-year-old here. <laughs> I feel I like, like we're old as fuck now. I, I feel like I'm old as fuck the now. The kids actually know. just use Snapchat no one, now. Well, pretty may as well. Nobody pretty, told me. Like, I don't understand Snapchat. It's a stupid, stupid app. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I had it for like two months, and I used to just send people pictures of my poos. <laughs> that was my whole Snapchat thing. That was my gimmick. People on hated me for it, though, so I gave up. I, <laughs> I thought it was a good niche. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not. I'm not sold. I'm not sold, but I appreciate the creativity. It was good. I'm not going back to it though. I'm done. With I that. don't do anything on Snapchat unless go into the into the group chat. Oh, you actually then, have a Snapchat. Oh, you have well, to. Have well, it I have for to uni. for the cool. for this and that. And I don't understand why they do it. Um, it's stupid. Like. I need to be able to see all this stuff as well because if they mention anything that they want, kind of like said to a like a, like a lecturer or something like that, being a student rep, I need to know. All the fucking messages delete, so if I miss them, they're gone. That's the stupidest fucking. Just get WhatsApp. Why, you just dumb get WhatsApp. Like, I'm, what's wrong with these? I'm people? not trying to sp- to like to spy on you or or anything like that. That's not my intention. Like, all I want to know is if you've got something to want to say to a lecturer or any suggestions or how would you spy on them on WhatsApp? But I mean, like, because they, they don't want me to see what's going on. Like, they don't want me to remember what they've said. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not going to grass on someone. They don't want you... This is... Like, I, feel oh, like, I feel like it's a very hey, kind of, like... Hey, I get where we're coming from. This is a, this is a Me Too thing, right? This, I, I don't think it's a Me Too People thing. don't want to get called out, so they send Snapchats so their messages are deleted. Probably. That's like, part I don't want of this that. shit played back in court later. Yeah. But the thing is, though, I'm not going to... Like, no one's saying anything, like, overly, like, horrible. Do you know what I mean? Like... Of course, but it's millennials, man. They're, they're so overcautious because they, they know they get in trouble for anything. It's a very paranoid culture. They know they get in trouble for anything. It's a very paranoid... But, I, again, I come from a culture of, like, you, you know, you snitch, you get stitch. You oh, know? Oh, yeah. So I'm Snitches not going to get ditches, motherfucker. Exactly. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do. I don't get anyone in trouble. Do you know what I mean? I'm just there to have a, you know, get on with my fucking life. That's right. Um, but yeah, they. I think there's a very bit more like a paranoid kind of like atmosphere with these dudes and dudes. And I don't understand it. I don't like it. Uh, I hate Snapchat. I think it's the worst thing that's ever been invented. Um, if you want to, I think all the stuff on there is like. All of it's on Instagram, so why don't you just do Instagram for your I, Snapchat? You're talking to the wrong person. I don't know what Snapchat is. It's stupid. I had it for poo. It's fucking ridiculous. It. It's fucking stupid. I hate it. Um, and yeah, so I can't tell. Like, if they want me to say, like, "Did you mention this?" I was like, "No," because I can't fucking remember what you said. Like, it's gone. It's disappeared. It's in the ether now. Well, I told you. Well, I can't go back and check it. I'm sorry. I can't look. Go look back. All I can look at is like saved messages of like work you've done on there and stuff. Like, I don't care about that. Uh, We're old. We need to be I, able to go back and revisit. I like things. to re. I like to revisit. I'm not somebody that writes. I've all written stuff down for today. I don't write things down typically. Like I, I'm not somebody who takes notes. I can't even spell. Exactly. <laughs> so what would be the fucking point? I know. So it's not even a joke. Like every time, I, I'm worse than Oracle. You're worse than Oracle. Jeez. She's fucking terrible. She's Jesus Christ. No wonder I don't ever see you type anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you men- message me on WhatsApp, yeah, we use WhatsApp. All right, yeah, we use WhatsApp, WhatsApp is our kids. thing. I don't know if you're looking at the cat. You are on the right what camera. camera. Are we on? I saw. I was, I was like, am I looking at it? Is it just not being like recorded? Am I just <laughs> looking at? As just on the other camera, it's just showing me looking somewhere else. And looks like <laughs> <laughs> oh, TV. There's too many cameras. I don't know what to want to look at oh, now. So Which one? Fancy. Is it over here? So, I don't know. It's uh, yeah, but Snapchat. Don't touch it. It's SC. the it's the stupidest thing that's ever been invented. The kids call it SC, right? I don't know what they call it. They call it SC. I don't know. They type GG. Oh, like good, good game. Good gay. Good game. Game. Sorry. You fucking idiot. I don't know what we're watching. But talking to games, um, 
I have been watching, like talking about watching as well. Um, there's a guy um, on Facebook. I think he's on like YouTube as well. But he's like a gaming streamer kind of guy. He's an older guy. I don't know how old he is. I'm not going to speculate because I'm not going to insult him. We gonna, has he got a name or is he just He does Fred? have a name. He does have a name. His name is Charlie Sardo. It's like Charlie Sardo Gaming is the, the, the Facebook. Charlie Sardo? Is that Sardo. S-A-R? S-A-R-D-O. Ooh, very good. Double check my spelling. Yeah. Um, I did copy it off of his Facebook just to make sure I spelled it right. Right, Jason but Fargo. He is like the most coolest, like chilled out guy. He is like the dude, like Jeffrey Lebowski from The Big Lebowski. I've seen that. Um, he is so laid back and he just plays chess. Like he's a mu- he's a musician. Um, I think he does like a pulse string and stuff like that. I like in his spare Pokemon time. Cards. And he, yeah, he just he just sits down and plays games and just talks to people. And he's like playing the games, just kind of talking you through it. Like what kind of like what he's thinking? I have not a clue what he's talking chess about. Chess is cool though. I'd beat him at chess. I don't know how to play chess. Like you don't know how to play I chess. I don't know how to play chess. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oracle, you know what get I, my chess board. But you know what I you know what <laughs> Oracle, fetch my chess board. <laughs> <laughs> but I know um that, like he his music that he's got playing in the background is like stuff that he's done, like some instrumental stuff on his like guitar and that. And he goes and plays he lives I think he lives in Texas. So he goes and plays like down at like local bars and stuff and does like open mic nights and stuff. Everything's bigger in Texas. And he is like the most chilled out guy. Like he is so relaxing. I literally just kind of like tune in um, for a spell like before bed because it just chills me out. Like it's oh, like, cool. He's like such a nice guy as well. Like I'm liking his stuff and that. Like you have a chat? Is there like a I've, live I've chat? had a quick little chat. He's got a live chat and he does respond to people did and he everything. Respond to you? He has responded oh, to me. Oh shit! What did he say? He said, "I can't remember what I said to him now. I think I was talking about like a bit of music and stuff because like, I checked out his stuff on YouTube, um, some of his recordings and that, and it's pretty cool. It was like some blues stuff." Um, and he is, yeah, he's a really cool guy. Um, blues. Some blues. I love a stuff. bit of blues, like, man. I'm going to have to check this out. He's a really, really chilled out guy. And yeah, he just, like, a real, like, yeah, he just, the whole kind of like, uh, like aesthetic to it is just, just fantastic. Like, he's just a real laid black guy. He's just talking um, about the chess to people, having full bone conversations about stuff. And he's just, yeah, a real, real decent guy. So, what I'm going to propose is we try and get him on the podcast at some point. I feel because like I he's feel too like big for this. I think he'll have a really, really cool um, few stories to tell. Like, because he's told a few stories through his stream anyway. Ooh, so sounds interesting. I think it'll be pretty cool. I think he'll be have some real cool stuff. Like, he's one of those guys that you can kind of like, talk to for a long period of time, you know? All right. Well, if you want to see Jeffrey Sardo on the podcast, it's, it's Charlie. Charlie. S- <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Good God almighty. <laughs> Charlie Sardo. Charlie Sardo on the podcast. Charlie Sardo Gaming. If you want to see him on the podcast, and if he will accept, of course. We would love to have you. We'd love to have him on. I think he'd be an absolutely fantastic like uh, guest for the show. Sounds good. You can good. have him take on the Mind Melter. Yeah, I can learn his name. You can learn good. his name. You know, he may be able to, he'll probably correct you and spell, spell his it. name. It's not because it's not spelt like uh, C-H-A-R-L-I-E. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. He's mixing it up a little bit. He's taking out the Please. I-E. Taking out the I-E. Chucked in a fucking Y. A Y. Fucking Y, man. Why has he done that? Why has he done that? <laughs> because it's Charlie Sardo. We'll ask him on the podcast. We'll ask him on the podcast. Why did he tw- say <laughs> change the IE to a Y? He's like, my parents gave it me. That's probably what he'll say. Fucking good story. I know. <laughs> so glad we asked. <laughs> so glad we asked. Great story. Great yeah, story. We need man. to bring him on the podcast. <laughs> we can just pretend we know all the answers already. I know, but I, I, I think he'd be a really cool guest. Like he's, he is such a laid back guy. Like I, literally, he's just. Yeah, he's just one of those people. You called him a laid back guy about twenty times. I know, but he is like a. How laid back is this? This guy guy is laid back. He's gonna be so far. He gotta be like this. He's he's (laughs) he's practically (laughs) horizontal. Like, (laughs) no, this guy is great. No, really, really cool guy. Um, and yeah, like he just like everybody talks to. Like he tries to make time for everybody. Like that, like messages through the chat. He's going to regret that later everybody. when I message him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, yeah, like, I'll, probably, I'll probably get home tonight and he's probably doing like a live stream and that. So I'll probably watch, uh, tune that in for a little bit and then off to slumber time for me. Oh, the land of dreams. The land of dreams. You know what we've been watching? What, what have you been watching? The Fast and Furious films. Oh, you're torturing yourself before bed, are you? No, man, these films are awesome. Are they? Well, a couple of them are. A couple of them, they're, they're really hit and miss. We watched the first one, and we were like, oh, that's pretty good, actually. I remember bit, the first one. Better actually, than no, I thought. I, thought, I think I saw Fast and Furious 2 before I saw 1. The second one sucks ago. donkey dicks. 
Does it? Oh, yeah, it's terrible. I used to love that as a kid. Like, oh, yeah, I loved it as a kid. But I watched it back, and it's like a really, really shit 80s cop film. Is it? Really, really. Like, they, they jump the car onto a boat at the end. I remember just, that bit, yeah. It's proper Starsky and Hutch, but it works in Starsky and Hutch because that's comical. And don't they change Vin Diesel's character in this? Oh, he's gone. No Vin Diesel in the second one. Like, they, but they, they, they recast him, don't they? Is that right? No. Do they not recast I feel like they recast him. No, no, they just got someone else. Okay. They got that, what's it, Tyrone? Rome, they call him, isn't it? Rome, yeah, they got that guy. Is it Rome? Is it Rome? Yeah, sounds I'm right. right. Yeah, I remember him, and I remember the the dead guy. The dead guy. Yeah, the dead guy, the main guy. It was the guy that died in the car oh, crash. Oh, Paul Walker. Paul Walker, that's his name. Actually died in the car crash. He actually died in the car crash. What are the odds of that? Was it like a freak accident as well? Freak accident. Like, like it wasn't like he was drunk. Or, I think it was just like the car malfunctioned, and he yeah, that's in. what I think I read that recently. I just thought he was just driving fast and mate, you you were a think. bit too furious. You would. <laughs> Far too fast. Far too fast and Far a little bit furious. furious. And that's what caused him to crash. But I didn't realize it was actually, I've read it recently that it was a malfunction. It's just such a crazy coincidence that something like that would happen. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like you pick bananas and then you choke on a banana. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I don't know, but I, I, I nearly had a, a, a fast and furious rage this, mo- this morning driving. Oh, tell me. Like, I went to go get my haircut. I didn't notice. I'm sorry. I had a haircut. Uh, a little bit of a fade going on here. Yeah, it does look detail. good. Let me see. Hang on. Oh, very fancy. Fade on the left, fade on the right, and fade on the back if you don't mind. Yeah, very nice. You know, so that's what I got done. And who um, did that, James? It was a guy called Tom. Tom. Um, at Camo Tommy in Gloucester. Tip. They have camo stores in uh, Worcester and Cheltenham and so if you're in those areas. somewhere else. Really good barbers, actually. They really do a good job. It's the first barbers I've been to. I may have said this last time I was on the... Like, I had my hair cut. I'm sure we've talked about it Probably. Who oh, fuck it? We'll say Just it again. keep telling stories. Just keep telling we'll, stories. We'll, we'll tell the same stories many times, but... Hopefully we'll get because most of the this. people that are listening now probably didn't hear it the last yeah, time, so far. now we're just recapping. Exactly. This is the, this is the throwback episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, camo hair, great barbers. They, they're the first barbers that cut my hair the way I actually wanted it to be cut. Like I've been to many barbers and they never cut it the way I wanted it to cut. And now I found a barbers that do it. So why would I not go there? No, that's a good point. That's a very good point. I can never get a haircut that I like. That's why I shaved my head for so many years. Yeah. One because it looked cool, and two because when I grow my hair, I just can't fucking figure out what to do with it. So that's why you kind of landed on the mohawk. I've landed on this mohawk, but I'm too thin in the middle up here, and it's not like a full mohawk. It's kind of yeah. like a shitty mohawk. It's kind of like a, a thinning mohawk. It's kind of like a mohawk that's got a gap in the middle. It's like a mohawk fade. It's like a macho man mohawk. Exactly. Like just that random circle <laughs> at the back of your head. <laughs> so I've got to do something about that. I don't know what to do with this hair. Do yeah. I grow it long? When I grow it long, it's too floppy. I don't know. To shave it. Just shave it again. Yeah, I think shave it. It's the only answer at the end of the day. Yeah, you got look. You got a round head for a shave head. I do have a round head. So I'll go for it. And like I've lost a little bit of weight now. I got to lose more weight, but I get too yeah. fat. My I need head to lose really weight. Fat, so I, I need to lose the weight. I need to lose it because I I keep seeing like I'm, I watch this back now and I'll go to myself. Fucking hell, Flynn, you fat piece of but shit. But have you seen how big your arms are? Like that's just that's just. God, give us a boy. Look at that that's fucking just, arm. Jesus just, Christ. That, that, does that even look big? I, I don't it's ginormous. It's not it's in a, that shot. It's just massive girth. Just, that's what. That's just, that's just mass. That's ginormous <laughs> mass. It's a. You're a fucking freak of a it's human a, being. It's a gelatinous mass. I'm telling mess. you, after we get some training in you, you're going to be an absolute monster. I hope so. Absolute yeah. monster. Well, so we've got to get back to wrestling. We've got to get back to wrestling. That's coming up real Ooh, soon. Body slams. I've got some new gear ordered as well. Power I'm really drivers. excited about that. Uh, spiky DDTs. Tombstone pile drivers. Tombstone DDTs. Tombstone um, uh, uh, DDT DDT. Whatever that is. Double DDT. Two's up on a DDT. Two's up on a DDT. A gangrel. A 3DT. A 3DT. <laughs> but going back, I just want to say about my road rage this morning. Like going back to this that quickly because that's what we tangented off. You talk about whatever you want. I will talk about what I want. I nearly just ran everybody off the road this morning. I was losing my absolute shit. Uh, Absolutely losing why? my shit. Because... <laughs> Everything. If you not notice, like now that the lockdown has been eased, like I've been really enjoying the lockdown traffic because it's dead. It's nothing. No one is out. Clear roads. Now they've chucked up uh, on the way into Gloucester. Okay, so if you don't live in Gloucester, it's in Gloucestershire. Um, it's <laughs> pretty pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> really. Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the it's in the southwest of England. Uh, it's a Gloucestershire. It's a nice little county. Come to Gloucestershire. Come to Gloucestershire. Fucking hell, I've a good time. No, it's like no, I'm done. Um, 
Yeah, so I was driving there. They've closed off one lane, so that's caused traffic. But then every fucking idiot is out driving. Everybody's slow. No one keeps up with the traffic in a traffic jam. You're supposed to keep up with the traffic, aren't you, to keep it flowing? That's how you keep it flowing. And like, I literally, I, man- I, I was lucky because I did get in front of somebody that did. I literally drove off, um, still queuing through the traffic. Queuing through the traffic. And the um, the car that was behind me was like a mile behind. Like, it just disappeared. It was right behind me for a minute. Then it suddenly just stopped. And then what happened? And then I got to Gloucester. But I got stuck. <laughs> I got stuck in the traffic. Before that, I got stuck behind every old person driving. Like, the slowest people ever. Like, they just did not seem to speed up. We seem to have a lot of those in the forest. There is a lot of them. There is a lot of them. It's like people forget how to drive and then they move to the forest. Yeah. And then they just slow everybody down. It's a necessary driving. Like it's when you're going 20 miles under the speed limit, it's too much. 10 miles an hour, I can understand a bit more. It's going to aggravate me still, but it's a bit better than 20 miles under. The thing is, I was stuck behind a tractor the other day, and I'm getting all pissed off at this tractor because yep. he's like he's not pulling over. How many cars are behind you? Oh, about 20. Yeah, okay, about so it's 20. 10. It's 10. 10 the limit. It's a lot, right? And I'm getting pissed at this tractor. And then eventually, there's a bit we can all go around. There's like a, it turns into a double road. And we all go around, and it's not the tractor. There's a fucking car in front of the tractor, yeah, holding the tractor up. Fucking Nissan Micra. I'm like, what the fuck are and you, you know, doing? You know that's some old broad called old Doris. As fu- good what? Doris. Doris. I thought you said Boris, but it could be D- Doris. Boris. Who cares? Exactly. It's either it's an old old broad called Doris or an old bloke called Boris. And they was. I don't understand these old people in these bloody cars. If you can't drive a normal speed, don't drive at all. Give it up. Just give it up. It's like give my, it up. It's like my granddad. I keep telling him to stop. Right, like he's burning clutches out left, right, and center. He's like, I said, have you thought about? Have you thought about getting like it, like an automatic car? And he's like, no, no. Why would I get one of those? I can drive. I can drive it. And I was like. <laughs> No, you can't. You keep burning out your clutches. Your feet are so old, you can't feel the pressure anymore. You can't feel the fact you've taken your... F- he can't tell that he's taken his foot off the clutch or not. So he's driving around, but he's like half-clutched. And he's burning these out, and he's wondering why it keeps happening. So hard. <laughs> and he just will not... I've never Stop burnt driving. Out a clutch on a car. Like I think my clutch, I think just because over time went because it was quite an old car at the time anyway. Old car. So it it got to the point where like the like the uh, the bearing or something was going to go through the plate or something. I don't know the ins and outs of all this. Sort of you know, mechanic means. things. But it was just like it it's it just reached the end of its life. Like it's it it just wore Brown out bread. over time. It happens. Brown bread. No, I'm done. So I uh, yeah, it had to go. But yeah, my granddad keeps burning them out out. Like, like they had just fucking done. Like, brand new clutches within weeks. <laughs> and Oracle used to drive with a handbrake on all the time. <laughs> that was hilarious. Just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I have no trouble getting off. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so, yeah, my granddad's there burning out all the clutches and everything. And I keep, at this point, like he keeps saying to himself as well, oh, I'm going to stop. Like, I'm gonna driving. I'm gonna burning st- out the clutches. I'm gonna stop driving. I was like, "Well, make your mind up," because you c- clearly can't afford to keep running these cars and paying for new clutches all the time. You're an old age pensioner. You're done. You go get a new clutch every trip. Go get a new clutch every like, freaking trip. Every time trip. you go to the petrol station, you get a new clutch. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, do you have any new clutches? No, we're all out now. <laughs> You've had ten the last week. <laughs> so like these old people that are holding us up, then right. <laughs> Then we just suddenly just piled onto a load of other cars, and it was going even slower. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm literally r- trying, like, swerving out into the road to try and see what the fuck's going on. You know, when you try to like, look past the other car and everything, this woman must have been, like, like panicking because I was like, literally losing my rag. My <laughs> horn is broken. <laughs> my horn is broken. It's, like, lost to its horn. <laughs> like, I just push it. It's like, I'm like ah, oh. <laughs> just trying to get the horn to work. Lose my shit. What the hell was that behind me? <laughs> what was that? Something that was a Superman broke. logo. Superman just fell. Superman just died. <laughs> so, gee, that wind as well. It's such a windy day today. It's gusty, such a right? windy day. It's wet. It's windy as shit. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is probably like blowing a gale against the windows here. Um, so yeah, I looked past, and there's three people on a bloody moped, like 
driving test or riding test. I don't know what they call it exactly. I know what you mean. But they're all out there with their high vises on, two people following the trainee. Yeah, they got to follow them. And that, and uh, they were slowing everybody down as well. I was like, what Those the fuck is going shit. on? So it's like, I, I left about uh, 20 past 10 to get to my appointment for 11. I was 10 minutes late. So it's taken me like 50 minutes to get to Gloucester, which would take me about 20. So you've got roadworks, moped test, old people driving. It's just a freaking nightmare. Luckily, there was loads of parking spaces when I got this, so I didn't have to worry about that. Oh, thank God. And and the usual like pay and display, that was working. And where were you going? The dentist? I was going to the haircut. The haircut? The haircut. Sorry, the story's been so long. That I know, it's been a long I forgot story. forgot what the original point of the story Fuck was. It. This is where we go, baby. This so is you where got we go. You didn't go to the dentist? So I did not go to the... Uh, the have, dentist. You, have you been to the dentist lately? I haven't been to the dentist in years. You should get your teeth checked. Do you know what? I should, but every time I used to go in there, she'd say, perfect, no problem, no harm done. That doesn't mean there's no harm done said, since She then. just said, flossed me. So, all to right, be fair, I will, though, I floss. I, I didn't go to the dentist for about six years, and I went back, and she was like, yep, yeah, perfect, no problem, no harm done. So I was like, yeah, but what's the fucking point? Exactly. And I will go eventually, like, but I just haven't been for such a long time. I've never, I've not had any problems with my teeth. You know, they are just about the same kind of sensitivity with cold stuff as they always have been. You know, there's been no massive change. I don't have any aches or pains or like infections that I'm aware of. Um, like, there's nothing there. Like my teeth. You get wisdom teeth. I got wisdom teeth because I'm no smart. No wisdom teeth. No wisdom teeth. I think I'm clever because I got wisdom teeth. I don't think that's what they. They mean. hurt though. Yeah, I don't want them. They're a bit painful. I hope I don't have them. I got one back here and. The dentist was like, oh, I think it's okay, but if it gets any worse, we're going to have to cut your gum open. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that shit. I hate it. Mouth ulcers are are just troublesome enough. Oh, yeah, mouth ulcers are terrible. I haven't had a mouth ulcer in a while, though. Yeah, I I get them every now and then. Lately, I've had like a couple in the last couple of months under my tongue, and for no reason. I think I might be biting my tongue in my sleep or something. People say it's stress, right? But I don't believe it's stress. Yeah, I think that's an old wife's tale. I think it's you've just but you got a bit, dirty mouth. You've bitten the inside of your mouth. That's more, yeah, it's so that's like that, what right? I do. Some sort of gash. Accidentally bite it when you're eating something. That's the worst one. Yeah, and that don't go away because you're always licking it like oh, it's thing. I've got it's it. there. You can't help but kind of feel that it's there. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah, Fucking, I haven't had one though. No, so. I haven't had. Have, oh, I don't know the last time I had one, but I had the last one my tongue, and that was really you know we like pretend the podcasts, and I've got that under my tongue. I'm like, it's like big swollen tongue trying to talk. Yeah. It's oh, like I'm trying, hey guys. Like the only time I usually swell my tongue up is if I'm doing like my Ric Flair impression because I feel like you, when you do that you got to have like your, your mouth's just full of tongue. I can't do impressions. You can't do impressions. No, I can do some impressions. No? Give me someone to do. Um, I'm going to hit you with, I'm going to go with Dusty Rhodes. Everyone knows with Dusty Rhodes. You've got a lisp, surely you can hear Dusty. Oh, I am Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> Close enough. He sounds like Dusty Rhodes following a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> didn't he have a stroke? I hope that wasn't the case. <laughs> That's bad. That's poorly, poor, poor choice on my part. If he did, an apology, Dusty. From from beyond. From beyond. Okay. okay from right. beyond. Yeah, all right, you saved it. It's I cool. feel like you hear it. I didn't. Yeah. Mean, I don't know if he had a stroke or not, but I don't know. Probably. You know. Let's, let's, look at look a good. Look a good stroke. Oh, yeah, good man. A good stroke. You, know, you had a veteran stroke. A vet, a vet stroke. <laughs> You've, they've all got to go through it at some point. <laughs> got to go through it. I'm looking forward to mine. <laughs> What the fuck are we think. going on about? I don't know. We've, we've, this is derailing. We derail this we so the fucking much. We got and it really fucked us up. And I don't know why. We didn't know how to come don't back t- from t- it. Don't touch them. Like we, we are. The, the, the podcast now is stroking out. <laughs> 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 but um, I tell you one thing. I also have been doing this week as well. Let's go about all the way back to the fucking beginning of what I've been doing this week. You've got so much to talk about. You got a whole I have, list. Got, I didn't have a list. I feel like you're just talking so long. Do you know what I do? Yeah. Because I prepare. <laughs> you have never prepared. What this is the first time you prepared? You have not. Don't no- fucking rub it in my face like you're this. I will amazing also like to prepared. Add, I will also like to add. We're on Skype. You don't know what's written down below my fucking camera. <laughs> oh, you've been prepared the whole time. You've been telling me you're not prepared to make you feel That's better. Just to get a fucking edge it, on me, isn't to it? To make you feel better. No, you've just been trying to one up me all, this whole for all time. Like, for all I know, you have been preparing. Oh, obviously, you- it turns out you haven't been. No, obviously. But- <laughs> I thought we were telling the truth. <laughs> well, yeah, no, a lot of it, a lot of it, we do wing, and like a lot of it, I don't even talk about. You know what? I did plan to talk about Fast and Furious, but you, you just did. You, you, well, we, go we, back to the Fast and Furious. Well, we kind of just we can easily it. swing back to anything we want. This yeah. is our podcast. Okay, so first one good. First one good. Second one not so good. Yeah. Tokyo Drift. Yeah, the no, best what? one. Don't think I've ever seen it. You've never seen Tokyo Drift. Never seen it. Best one. Uh, do you know why? Why? You don't like the Asians. Don't give a shit about cars. Don't give a shit about cars. Couldn't give a flying fuck. No, I don't like cars either. I have like you the seen my car? Space yeah. Mountain? Have you seen my car? Yeah. I haven't even got a name. 
Your car looks like you're on the school run. My car looks like an old man taking a lawnmower down to a gravesite. My car looks like I'm dropping the kids off at the school. You look like the old man picking up the kids from the school. <laughs> <laughs> like my old car is so old now. Like the thing is, it's only 2007, but it's just it's such an old man car. Like yeah, it is a pretty old man car. It is an old man car. I imagine that's what my granddad would drive. Yeah, if he wasn't dead. Yeah, but he is. So maybe he's driving one in the big, the big blue. In the big blue, is it? Is that big I don't know. Blue? I just come up with that. I just the clouds that. aren't blue. The sky's blue. The big white. That big sounds white. disgusting. <laughs> the big white. <laughs> that was my nickname in high yeah, school. Up in Cloud City. <laughs> Cloud City's good. Cloud City's I good. Like Cloud City. that. Isn't Cloud City like a Star Wars so, reference? Um, no. Is it Cloud City? They got a Cloud City. That, isn't that where Lando is? Cloud City. Is that what it's called? I'm pretty I sure it's Cloud like City. I had a better name than that. If you play, well, you've played uh, Battlefront. A long time ago. Yeah? I think when you fight there, Two I'm pretty sure ago. it's called Cloud City and you've got those like little shoe, like, shoe ships. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're shit. You remember them? Terrible. <laughs> and they didn't have any guns on them, so I'd literally just kamikaze into someone's TIE fighter or I'd something. I'd always try and... It didn't even work, though. <laughs> it didn't even work to try and kamikaze. <laughs> oh, there's a good... Battlefront was an absolutely solid, Which solid one? game. Which one? We've done one or two? First one. I've only ever played the, the first. The PS2 version? The P- no, there, oh, no, there not was that. a Battlefront on PS2. I always wanted that, but I that never did get it. Bri- that was better than all the I new ones. I always wanted it. It was so good. My biggest thing with the Battlefront games was that they didn't ever have... Um, a story mode and I really wanted a story mode but then they brought out um, uh, the Jedi game the Jedi game uh, I can't remember what it's called now um, Jedi Master what Jedi was that freaking called the, Jedi. the one with the ginger kid the one where he's good or bad Is that no it? not the Force Unleashed not, not Force, Force Unleashed. Unleashed no you've got a new one it's like um, Force Awakens no that was the film god damn it um, I can't remember what it's called it's like Jedi something it was a good Jedi game Jedi Knight though. No, I don't think it was that. Oh, for God's sake! I'm never I can't what it's it. called. I can't remember what it's called now. It's like, um, but it was, it was good. I trust you. Remember Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order? I think it was called. Didn't play it. Really good game. Really good. It's like Tomb Raider, but Star Wars. I uh, didn't like Tomb Raider, but it's like better than Tomb Not Raider. The newer ones, anyway. I've I've tried playing the first one, but I've only got like so far through, and I thought I'd finished it. It's a big bit, and it was like a big finish, and they gave me the guns, like the double guns, the twos up on guns, twos up on guns, and I thought, oh, this is it. This is like where they're now. Then move on forward from this. Oh no! Apparently, I was about halfway through, and I was like, "That was." I have played for a long time. They were long games. Granted, I snuck everywhere because I could not be bothered to deal with all the bullshit. <laughs> because some of these like opponents were really difficult to fight. The second one was really difficult. The, so, the, have you played the second one? Tomb Raider Two. Yeah, in the on the new games. Not the new games. No, I've only played. I'm talking about old school games. No, I'm talking about the. I'm talking about the new one. I haven't played new games. Well, you should. I shouldn't. You played Battlefront Two. Yeah, but only a little PS4, bit. PS4, you play your UFC 4 game, whatever it's called. Yeah, I know, but I'm good at that. Uh, you play GTA, you play Red Dead. Not really. You played them. Like, I've played them. Th- I play games and, and I you've... complete them and then I'm done. And you replay GTA 5 because you told me. I did, but that was like, it was a long time. Oh, don't, it don't, came don't out backtrack. 20 years Don't backtrack. Ago. You told me. You've already told me. Look, man, you can't just hold me to things I've said, okay? Well, I can because you've told me them and I remember things. I'm like a fucking elephant. I'm not trying to say things that are true here. I'm just trying to say things that might be relevant. <laughs> Why wouldn't you say things that are true? Because it doesn't matter. It's it just does. a fucking podcast. He gives a shit. <laughs> People want authenticity on a podcast. That's th- what they want. I think they just want I'm telling stories that actually happen to me and things that actually, you know, are factful. I'm making <laughs> things up. I'm making things up. <laughs> this entire time I thought I'm getting to know you. I don't know, dick. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> There's nothing interesting about me. So I have to make shit up or tell stories that other people have told me and I just pretend I'm in the story. <laughs> Is this why you're hard? You're fast and furious. You think, you know, I think I found a hook here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found that fun thing everyone's going to like. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe we'll this see is when you start writing is. things down that happened to you. I don't write things down. Basis. We already went over this. You've already, you told me about uh, like when you go down to the gym. Like what you've the had, fuck's all this? Oh, you told me. You told me. Yeah, I write my workouts down. No, I mean, like, you go to the gym. Surely there's going to be some funny shit that happens at the gym. I like we saw that guy, that like Ryan Reynolds, the other day. He did look like Ryan Reynolds. He, Kinda. He was kind of Jack though. He was. He was good shape. He good was, shape. He was bigger than Ryan Reynolds. He's he was good. Fuck Ryan Reynolds bigger than Ryan. He's more bulkier than Ryan Reynolds. Right. Yeah, man. I mean, he'd fuck Deadpool. He had up. a thicker beard as well. Thicker beard. Yeah, and he was like kind of. He had like some fucking tribal tattoos. Yeah. But I don't think he was from a tribe though. No. He was There's very a white. lot of guys that go down that gym in, in in the forest that have a lot of tribal tattoos. Yeah, man. But I saw uh, a very pale ginger kid with a uh, Samoan. Tattoo. He was in my. He was in the Lydney gym the other day. Was he? Yeah. He taps his feet when he does bench press. It's hilarious. Taps his feet. Taps yeah. his feet. He's pushing the weight. There's little. 
<laughs> just little taps but with his really feet. struggling. <laughs> like, dude, might be too heavy. Not even when it's heavy though. <laughs> He's like doing it easy, just tapping his feet loads. That's his technique. He just taps his feet. Is it like pumping himself up? Is it like maybe? Is he like air air, air driven? Maybe <laughs> I might try it myself. See if I can get more weight. <laughs> so game, to do that tapping, brother. It might just it's be awesome. a secret technique we don't know about. Got to go for that tapping game. <laughs> <laughs> tap it up. Tap 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 a room. <laughs> What's that song where you're tapping all the time. I don't know what to, it's a tapping song. Yeah, it's a tapping song. Is that? Yeah, man. It's like one of those rap songs. What? You know, like tap, tap, tap it up. I said tap, tap, tap it up. Do you, do you tap? Carly B. Do you mean pump it up? Yeah, yeah it might be pump it up. <laughs> I've got to pump it up. Don't you know pump it you up? You just change the pump. You can just change the pump lyric to tap. Right. You've got yeah. to tap it up. Exactly. Got to tap it up. And up, that's up, a up, up, Carly B number one. Exactly. That's what you want to go for. That's your number one single right there. I could do a number one single. Yeah, I what do. What are we talking about? I think we went off track. We completely went off track. I don't know where we were. Carly B. Cardi B. I don't think we've talked about her. I don't really want to. Oracle I don't know anything Water. about her. Oracle, Who the Oracle fuck is she? What's a Cardi B? She's a rapper. Is she? I've never heard of her. Name one of what's the one of her rap Cardi songs? B? Is she the is she the girl that makes all like the weird noises with her mouth? I know a few girls like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, isn't she like a girl that makes some weird noises with her mouth or something? I don't know what that is. I feel like she does. Like she does like, like, like go or something like that. Isn't that She's Shakira? Like a, no, no, Shakira's like. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> but I forget him. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> that Shakira. Spot Sounds on. like a dyslexic That's horse. A spot on. That's spot on Shakira. Spot on Shakira. <laughs> 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 no, Bacardi B is kind of like. Waka waka It's like I don't know. She's like makes like bird noises with her mouth. She's like. You I can't say do so. I can't Sounds do bird isn't noises. that Rihanna? No. Ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh. Rihanna. What's that? That's Rihanna. <laughs> well, that wasn't Rihanna. So, yeah, umbrella. Hey. Is that Umbrella? That's, yeah, that's Is Rihanna. Is that what he was man. going for? Well, she got it. Did she? Yeah, I did. You Thank sure? You. Well, I've got you live together. I don't. That's an unfair hey, unfa- the, advantage. The fans at home got it. Did they? Did you? I'm pointing at different cameras. Like, <laughs> <laughs> stop, I can't see what stop camera pointing. is on, so I'm just like pointing at random ones. You can, point at, you can point at any camera you want. There you go. There you, we go. Look at the look. <laughs> I had to cough. I had to cough. Oh, he's got the Rona. Oh, oh, we're all one infected off. now. You gave it to me. Maybe who we knows? turned up with the Indian variant today. That's what I do. Well, that is scary shit. No, it's not scary shit. It's over. Imagine it's done. It, it, good, the thing is, though, imagine if it did, and we had to go back into the lockdown oh, sessions. I would. L- no, I'm not going back. Right now. <laughs> I'm not going back. They, they Wait, I don't care. We will break the law. <laughs> I will, I, I'm done with the law now. <laughs> I am the law. Fucking Judge Dredd. I am. But okay. it is weird to think that in like less than a month's time. In fact, no. Tomorrow it will be a month. Like because be Friday, so the day that this goes out. Uh, will be a month until basically it's all over. That's when all the restrictions are lifted. Apparently, that's all of them. Well, that's what it says on the roadmap. Whether that, whether they're going to go into a bit more detail about what is and isn't. They're getting a bit pissy about this Indian variant, but I feel like it's just the fucking media hyping it up. I also kind of all I, the vulnerable I, are vaccinated now, right? Um, I believe so. All the under, all the old, the frail, the weak. Yeah. they're all done. They're covered. Yeah, I think we're going into like the thirties now. The thir- I'm th- I'm thirty one. I think you'd be at like the bottom of the table. Well, I'll be done soon, though. I'll I think done you'd be done. You. Yeah, I'd be done before me. But you're fatter than me, so they might give it to you first. Possibly, yeah. He's like, do you have diabetes? No. Well, you might have. Ooh. <laughs> Better get a jab. Get that diabetes out of you. Ugh. Does, the oh, corona- thing. Does coronavirus beat diabetes? or? I don't know. I think if you've got... If you do have diabetes, you do have to... Um, you do, you do have, you're on the vulnerable list. Yeah, that makes it, sense. It doesn't, I don't think it does increase your chance of potential like, fatality. Death. Yeah, fatality. fatality. Man, that sounds so cool then. I do. Yeah, I've still not seen that Mortal Kombat film though. You haven't seen the Mortal Kombat. Yeah. It's not that good. Don't watch it. Yeah, I've heard lots of mixed reviews on it. Yeah, it's it's, it's the first ten minutes are brilliant. The yeah. rest of it, fucking shit. I've seen it. It's about like it's like they're talking about a tournament, but there's no tournament actually. There's happening. no tournament. No. Yeah. Like a lot of like, like the plot is very very weak. Yeah. Like they they go and find. Do you know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, you say it. Don't do a Mortal Kombat film. They don't, don't do seem Kombat to work. Film. No, games are better. When you're doing a gay, uh, a film about a game that um, is about, a, like, it's just a fighting game. Like, there's no s- real story to these fighting games, is there? Like, necessarily. No, not really. They have a story mode, but it's usually just fight the next person. Fight the next person, get to the next bit, and then you have, like, a cutscene at the end. And here's a boss. Yeah. So, 
you can't make a film out you can because you've got to make up this this outlandish story to I feel go like along it can be it. done they're just not doing it very well I think do you know the best way to do it look at the Cobra Kai for, like Karate Kid format not Cobra Kai Karate Kid format yeah. there's a tournament they're training for the tournament Nasty. there's a rival between two of them you put the focus on two people that are actual characters because I don't think there's some there's some people in this aren't even characters in the actual like Mortal Kombat universes are they yeah the main character isn't from the game yeah so bin that fucker off yeah. like who needs him so you get two people like two popular characters like Scorpion and Sub-Zero there we go they, I'm assuming they are enemies they're, and they're enemies yep there we go boom one's put the blue, focus one's on yellow. them do you know what would be a great thing as well yeah maybe start it to the point where before they were like masters of their craft so they're getting taught so do it from like a, almost like a um, a build up story a build up story would be good so a little kind of like how they develop their skills and they go into their first Mortal Kombat tournament first one and then do it that well, way. Well, we always got to start on the Surely, 10th one. Like, I don't even like Mortal well, I'd I like Mortal Kombat, but I don't watch it um, or play it. So, so what do you like about it? <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've I like the dragon. I have played the it dragon's before. pretty cool. I have played it before, but I don't. I don't play it now. You know. Yeah, I get you. So, like, I know like roughly who the characters were. I used to enjoy the cartoon when I was a kid. The cartoon. I didn't even see yeah, the cartoon. The, I'm pretty sure it was a Mortal Kombat cartoon. I thought I was watching Turtles. Um, and. Yeah, like so. I that's what I think they should do. I think that make much much more interesting thing. You can follow a bit more of like the story and maybe com- like get the people that created Mortal Kombat to have maybe more of an input. Yeah, like, they even involved? Did they even ask them any questions at all? I don't know the, the way it looks like because I saw those honest trailers. You know the ones where they just take the piss the out of them. Trailers, yeah, but, yeah. Um, so I watched one of them and they were pretty um, harsh, uh, harsh to harsh. It. It's a yeah. bad film. Yeah. It's fun, and there's good bits, but mostly it's just the story. The writing's just so bad, and the acting's piss poor. Yeah. So I'm, I, I'm probably not going to watch I, I probably will watch it. I will watch it, probably. At some point. At some point. I'm in, no, I'm in no rush. I've got plenty of other shit to watch. Tell you what was a fun film, though. What's another fun film? R.I.P.D. We did. We watched R.I.P.D. with Never seen it before. I recommended it to you. You did. You showed it, and we watched it, and we ate chicken, and it was good. It's got my favorite actor, Jeff Bridges, in it. Jeff Bridges, what a man. That never makes a bad film. Like, even R.I.P.D. should flop. It, it should, should flop. It should flop. Didn't it? It probably did. I think it did. It probably got some shit ratings. I never watched it. I think it I heard it was bad. I think it did get some shit ratings. But you know what? I think it's a great film. It's it's just it's Men in Black, but with like Afterlife instead of like Aliens. Yeah, there's some and crazy. It's just dead some, yeah, and it's just deados. Deados. Deados is what that they call it. Quite funny. And it's just some stupid comedy with it. Like Jeff Bridges having a bit of fun with it. Ryan Reynolds just Ryan Reynolds playing the straight man in it as well. Like you do that. Like you know what I mean? Like who out of the two? I like it when they flip it like that, though, because they did that with Central Intelligence with Kevin Hart and The Rock. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, that's a good film. And as that well. was a good switch on the on the straight man uh, comedy man. Like that was a good one, and that worked well. You just got to flippity flop it sometimes. So we've got to flip it. You got to flip it. So when you're going into an interview, you want to have have them um, answering your questions. So you flip it. Exactly. That's I love to do that. Uh, so that's how you get a good interview, and you're guaranteed to get the job. What are you gonna do for me? Exactly. That's how you do it. You flip it. You always flip it. And Jeff Bridges, fucking great. And weirdly enough from that, uh, today my dad was watching a, uh, a Jeff Bridges documentary. Well, what happened in that? Yeah, I didn't watch it, but <laughs> my dad was watching it. And I just thought it was ironic because I was watching Jeff Bridges last night. And there he is again. That is ironic. Um, but Jeff Bridges, greatest actor ever. My favorite film, Big Lebowski. You think Lebowski. greatest actor ever? I think he is. Did he ever get an Oscar? Me. I don't know if he has, but I, I don't... I, don't class Os- Oscar as making you a great actor. You didn't see the Oscars? Like, has Will Smith ever won an Oscar? Well, no, he's black. Yeah, so they, they, don't, they don't like they don't like that exactly. shit in the Oscars. So I, I, I That's don't, like I don't, rate, doing, I don't right? rate the Oscars because, like, why, why? Why? Because Will Smith has done some great films, like um, Pursuit of Happiness. So I was gonna say Pursuit of Happiness. Seven Pounds. Have you seen Seven Pounds? I love Seven That's Pounds. A great That's fucking great brilliant. film. I think that better than Pursuit of Happiness. Broken every time I watch that. Yeah, really sad film, and then. Uh, I Am Legend was a great I one Legend. as well. Like, I think any film where a guy is or, or a girl is acting on their own for that long and that length of time, like they should get an Oscar. As well. If it's that good a film as well, because um, James Fuck Franco an Oscar, did they should it. get a medal. James Franco did it in 127, 127 hours. hours. Didn't enjoy that. I really loved that film. I Didn't thought it was like really it. good. But he was acting his ass off for I, that I met long. the real guy. The real guy came to my college. What? Oh, the guy, the, the one-arm guy? Yeah, the guy who got his arm ripped off. Yeah. Imagine that, though. College of my Imagine going through that. that shit. Yeah, gutted. Like that whole bit as well when he's cutting through the uh, the tendon, and it's like he's like, <sighs> thing is that when it's like doing that whole kind of like thing where it's like cutting through it, like that exactly how you'd feel, wouldn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? And you could feel it. Like that was really good little like uh, editing. I'm assuming that Bloody would be. Gross. It's like Oracle levels of editing. 
Yeah, she's pretty good. But that's she's how she good. does. Can you maybe make it look like my arm's stuck in this sofa and i got to cut it off? Ah. Can you do that? Ah, my arm! Ah, I quick, think you've sold give me a enough. knife. I think you've sold it enough. All right, let's Just cut your arm. No, go get a knife. Cut it off. Can you get me a knife, please, Oracle? <laughs> no, I'm done. That's not a real knife. That's a fake knife. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of air. <laughs> but how long have we been going today? How long have we been going? Have we gone over time? I feel like we've been chatting for like a lifetime. It's 20 minutes. Uh, it's nearly been an hour. It's nearly been an hour. I feel like we've been talking for a long time. Don't feel, you feel, feel like we've been talking long? It feels different. That's all it, it is. It does. It feels we're in a different environment. And now, you know, we're in a very orange room. I feel like I'm, in, I feel like I'm sat in a James's Giant Peach. Ooh, that'd be That's good. That's what I feel like I'm in. Like we need to get some grass. Oracle's like a shit. giant cricket lady. Well, you could be a cricket. Wasn't the cricket the nice one? I think all the all the all the um the the the, the insects that are inside the peach were, were like good nice? guys. Like, was yeah, there not that one was that was, was like, like that a good film back in the day? Like, that was a great great film to come it. and watch. The seagull bit, and then the jaws, the big metal shark. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was scary, man. Was it, was his, was it his ants or something like that? They they they're, they're evil, yeah, weren't they? His ants. Evil. Evil aunts. It's always an evil aunt. It's always an evil pairing of people in a Roald, Roald Dahl book. Yeah, man. I think I feel like that guy had some childhood trauma. Yeah, I, I saw <laughs> this documentary on him. Like, there's a little kind of like thing on him. Uh, it came up on Facebook, weirdly. And I don't know why it came up on my feed. Like, Everything I don't read books. Facebook. I do not read books. Um, You're just childlike. So. I I just like, but he came up on my thing, and it's just him kind of like talking about like what he does, and it's like a, just like a general thing, and he's like he had this like shed at the back of his house. Like, it was like a weird like, little, like, hut. And he'd just sit in an armchair. Where he kept his victims. <laughs> it may as well have been. <laughs> like, and he just has an armchair in there. All his writing shit and all his, like, whatever bits. And he sits in an armchair, with, takes a thermos in with him, pack of cigarettes. Sits in his armchair, puts a blanket over his legs, puts his feet up. Has this little table that kind of slots in over the top of him. And then just writes all day, smoking and drinking tea out of a thermos. Sounds like a nonce, if you ask me. I don't know what, it's the most chilled out life ever. I'm like, this guy's got it right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like he's got some demons and he's like, there, there's stuff he going on. He, does, he, he, do, he does look like a guy that could kill a whole family. <laughs> I mean, when you're, when you're that creative, your, your brain don't work on normal levels. No, exactly. You're, 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 you're fucking firing at all cylinders. Yeah, you're, like. a different, you're a different kind of human. <laughs> and then it just kind of cuts to him kind of like chilling out in his house alone. Um, another kind of like trigger. Um, and then he's just down the pub playing pool with his mates. What a strange man! Like, but I don't know. It just looked like a, that setting though. I would never play pool. It kind of reminds me of me. I just like get lay, uh, level into my little nook and uh, do no, my you designs. You do look a bit like Roald Dahl. I do. If I, I had don't know what he looked head, like, but you, you, uh, this uh, is if a, I could uh, picture him, I look more like one of the twits that he had illustrated <laughs> than I do Roald Dahl. <laughs> like, I look like the, the like the bloke twit. Yeah, you do a bit. And that, but that was a good book, the twits. What happened in that one? I forget the story. Um, I, I can't remember, but I remember they were just like basically just torturing each other yeah, all the time like each other and like all. feeding they themselves did, some like horrible shit. They never yeah. made like a movie adaption. They did Matilda. Matilda was good. Matilda was a great film. God damn, Danny DeVito again. Danny DeVito, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of the double D. Oh yeah. Um, Rhea Perlman as well. Yeah. When they were back together before back he started, before DeVito started banging other chicks. <laughs> at his age. Fucking animal. <laughs> at his age. <laughs> Um, fucking warthog. <laughs> fucking warthog. <laughs> I just want to be pure. Um, uh, what else did they do out of those? So, uh, let's do James and the Giant Peach. Yep. Who else was there? B- BFG. BFG. I don't, I, that, that was a that was a just a cartoon adaption, wasn't it? Charlie and the Chocolate. Was that Factory. Roald Dahl? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, man. Old Willy Wonka. Yeah, Willy Wonks. Ooh. Willy Wonks, oh, Willy, <laughs> Willy Wanker, <laughs> Willy won't, Willy Willy. Um, Funny name. Yeah, because it was like that as well. Because well, they've done a few adaptions. Imagine going to that the now. chocolate factory. Holy shit! Yeah. Did you? You did went it? to a French chocolate factory. Did you? Did you win the? Did you win the, the factory? You, you won, won the, the ticket, ticket, but did they give you the factory at the end because you didn't eat the never-ending gold runner, shopper? Runner, runner, run home, Oracle, and don't give it to anyone. <laughs> 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 oh my god, she's got the ticket. She's got the ticket. I'll give you my house for it. Oh, oh I'll trade all you the pearl. All the offers that kid must have had on his way home for that ticket. Because obviously everyone's seeing it because he's waving that shit around. Oh yeah, he, Like he a fucking madman. Like, I would put it like somewhere. I would put it down my fucking front of my trousers. I'd have rolled it up and shoved it up my ass. <laughs> I mean, put it in a gondola up your ass. Exactly. Just keister it. You've got a keister that thing. <laughs> keister that golden ticket, man. You don't want anyone touching that. 
He's like, it's like, see if it's Willy Wonka. He's like, oh, have you, uh, you've been eating my chocolate this morning, have oh. you? <laughs> it's not chocolate, Mr. Wonka. <laughs> That's my fucking shit. Oh god! Oh god! His shit would have been. And bad his granddad, well. he's obviously been living off, like sponging the benefits as he dashes oh, out of the fucking I bed. I can walk. Oh, it's oh, fucking hell! I can feel my legs again. <laughs> it's a miracle. And what is this? The ma- doctors are like, I'm sure it's a fucking miracle. <laughs> what, yeah. is, what is this magic? <laughs> <laughs> so he goes off with his granddad to a to a chocolate factory with a load of other spoiled kids. Um. They all like turn into blueberries and get drowned in chocolate. Um, oh, savage, man, what a way to go! Savagely destroyed if I by could squirrels. Die anyway, it would be drowning in chocolate. Um, and then, then Charlie and his granddad get too big for their boots. Go flying around in a bloody bubble room. Yeah, that's not allowed. Piss off, fucking Willy Wonka. Yeah, but and he gives it to him anyway, and he still gives it to him. So, oh well, they all lost, but you were you were the least bad one, so you can have it. Yeah. What a way to give away everything you've ever owned. Yep. Well, you were the least annoying kid, so you can have it. And did they do two of those books? Am I right? They're saying they did yeah, two of those books. They didn't. They do the glass, the elevator, glass elevator or something elevator. like that. And, yeah. Different stuff happens, and they go in the glass elevator. They fly to different places. Yeah. I never read that one. I never read the first one. I think one. I did as a kid. I don't remember what happened though. I feel like I did read a lot of Roald Dahl. I feel like I did read. I remember reading the Twits when I was little. Never read Matilda. Um, there pictures in those books. Yeah, they did. I like pictures. Um, I don't know if they... Well, James... I feel like I may have only read the twits of the Roald Dahl. I think I remember seeing the other ones, but never reading them. Nah, I, I, I watch the films. I'm a film guy. Yeah, I don't like... Everyone says, oh, you've got to read the book. It's better. I don't agree with that. No, it's not. Can't fucking see it. I don't agree. I Can't see it. I can't bother. I, I, I don't like to sit down and read a book. I just find it the most boring thing ever. It Sitting is. Sitting in a silent room, Ugh. reading a book, Ugh. stuck with my thoughts. Ugh. I watch TV to escape that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, I do shit to escape my thoughts. Yeah, I want to live with these thoughts. I'm running these away thoughts. from them, man. Get away from these fucking thoughts. I'm not dealing with these, dude. <laughs> I'm getting away with that shit. No. So, um, yeah. But Roald Dahl, great fucking writer. Because he made some books that turned into some great films. Maybe a nonce. <laughs> Maybe a nonce. Who's to say? Maybe. I'm not going to get into it. Me either. You know. Don't want to go down. I'll let someone else take care of that. Yeah. I'm, we're, not, we're, I'm not the person to deal with that. We're not, we're not dealing with it. No. I'm not the person to investigate. No. I don't have an investigation degree or whatever you need to become an investigator. A Twitter account. I'll, do you not? <laughs> Jesus. Oracle wants to become an investigator. Oracle wants to become the Oracle you, you Agency. You need Google and a Twitter account these days. Oracle Agency does sound like something do. from like Avengers. Like you sound like you could be part of like the Marvel universe, the Oracle Agency. I think Oracle was DC. Oracle is DC. Well, dear Oracle is DC because uh, I think that's where I first thought of it. Because I remember Oracle like runs Batman's Batcave or something. Yeah, shit. I remember because I remember Watch that from Tower. Arkham Arkham uh, Asylum. I remember Oracle being like, I think a big Oracle figure in that. Oracle was Lieutenant Gordon's daughter who he got. got like paralyzed, got paralyzed, and so she's like in like a, now a bat chair. Yeah, I think she was Batgirl for a bit, but she got paralyzed. That's what it was. Yeah, she was Batgirl, and then she got paralyzed being Batgirl. Barbara Gordon. Bob. Barb. Hey Barb. Big hey Barb. Bob. I'm going to change your name. You're now going to be Oracle. What up, Big O? <laughs> big O, what's going on in the Batcave? Oh, hey guys. Is the Joker not... in here? No, he's he's not there right now. He got Lex Luthor. He's uh he's going to fight Superman. So who am I? Uh, who am I fighting? Bane's kicking about today. He's, oh, uh, Bane! I remember when he broke my back. Yeah, he did break your back, but uh, he, he, you know, you, you got him back for that one. But he's back now, and he got some more toxic gas. What's he doing with that? Oh, well, Scarecrow turned up, and they're teaming up. Scarecrow? Oh no, my nightmares again! I'm gonna dream about my mother and my father. They died in an alleyway. Yeah, I know you tell me every day, Bruce. Uh, I'm pretty sick of hearing that fucking story. Every time you turn up, you tell me that story about your fucking parents dying. Oracle, Oracle, you're boring me. Put Alfred on. Oh, hello there, Bruce. Alfred, did you take your medicine? Bruce, is that you? Alfred, it's Bruce. Can you hear me? No, I'm not a queer. <laughs> Who is this? It's Bruce, Batman. You're in my house. You're in my ass? <laughs> I mean, you're in my house. Get out of my ass. <laughs> Do you feel anyone in there? Come on. You're in my house. My house. You live there. You sleep there. Bruce. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, I've missed you. Can you can you turn the stove off? What? <laughs> the stove. <laughs> can you turn it off? <laughs> okay. Okay, I turned the stove off. Good, now put Oracle back on. Oracle. <laughs> the pause. You forget, she's old. <laughs> Hello? Hang up the phone. <laughs> Bye. And that's it. That would be a good conversation if it wasn't shit. I don't know why Batman would sound like that. <laughs> well, Batman just, being played just, by Matt he's, Damon. He's just blending in with everybody else in the city. <laughs> That's how he gets away with his like voice. That would be a smarter idea than just 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 distorting it. Well, it does not sound like a general, like generic a kind of like American guy in New York because that's what Gotham is, isn't it? It's New York. Well, it kind of is. It's Gotham. It's Gotham. Based I've, on New York. I've heard. I've heard somebody as well. I can't remember what it was now, but they called New York Gotham, and it wasn't like a bat. I think it was like a. I don't know, but I don't I feel like there isn't an area of New York called Gotham. Oh, maybe. I feel like there's a Gotham comedy club in New York. Oh, that does sound familiar. It sounds actually. familiar, right? It does sound familiar. I, I've never been there. I don't know. I'm guessing. It I've never been. To sounds New York. right. I've never been. I want to go to New York. Let's go. I want to go to New York. I want to go to L.A. as well. La, 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 L.A. La, L.A. That's what the French call it. Los Angeles. Ooh, the Angels. The Angles. Of that's angels. what. Los, do you know? What, that's that's what Los Angeles translates as. The Angels. Yeah. It wasn't a difficult translation. No, it's pretty simple. Um, what about San Diego? San Diego. Saint Diego. The the devil. The devil. I made that up. Um, what else is there? <laughs> San Jose. Is it San Diego like a whale's vagina? It sounds like a whale's vagina. <laughs> San Jose. <laughs> Saint Jose. Is it San? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. I, think, it I, think, I think San is just Saint. Yeah. Is it? Um, oh, yeah, because San like short Saint. Yeah, okay. Right. Exactly. What about Las Vegas? Las Vegas. What does Vegas um, mean? Money. The, the the money. That'd be pretty cool. The Big money. Big money Bobby Vegas. Big money Bobby Vegas. We'll take him out. Big money. Released his new promo recently. What a man. Incredibly tanned. Incredibly tanned, but not his palms. Not his palms. There's no tan on his palms. There's no tan on his palms. Or his eyes. Or his eyes. There's everywhere else. He kept his glasses on and... <laughs> did, did, just, did he just get a spray tan and then just leave the, the glasses round? <laughs> Apparently so. He is, he's a lovely guy, though. Absolutely friggin' lovely, lovely guy. guy. Lovely, lovely guy. guy. Lovely guy. I like him. Lovely guy. Bad tan. Bad tan. Bad tan. It's, it looks like me when I've tanned. I, I don't tan in certain areas. I don't tan. So like, I look like a, when the summer comes, I look like a panda. Well, how does that work? I don't know. I don't even wear sunglasses in the summer. Usually. Do you have like hairy nipples or something? So your nipples just don't get... No. I'm talking about my eyes. Your eyes? Yeah, my eyes. It's like, around my eyes, it doesn't tan. It's like my forehead acts as like a natural sun shade. That's what it is. You've got a deep eye socket. That's what it is. And that's what's doing it. It's my deep eye socket. <laughs> it's all that boxing. You, your eye socket has been eye sockets. punched into your skull so many times. It is. It's like a weird... I don't understand it. I still tan around these areas. I don't know. Well, we so. should go on holiday and try and get a tan. I haven't been tanned in years. No, I haven't been on holiday in 10 years. I haven't been on holiday in 10 years. Yeah. So. Let's go. Oracle, where do you want to go? We need an Oracle. Oracle decision. Greece. Greece. Sounds mm. greasy. Yeah. Sick of Greece. I've been to Greece. Have you? Yeah. How was it? It's all right, actually. Have you not been to Greece? Where'd you go? Salonika. Aren't you part Greek? Yeah. You've never been to Greece. So you've been to Greece. You're lying to me. Well, you've been there, though. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Six months. That's a good chunk of your life. Fuck you know. I wish I could go on holiday for six months. I'll say if you were there, baby, and that's a good chunk of your baby life. That is six months. It's your whole baby life. That's your whole baby life. Yeah. How dare you? My foot is right in that camera, isn't it? Ah, oh, sod, I don't care. <laughs> it just knows that I am. Sun jellies. Remarkably comfortable. That's my ad for that. Big fuck off calves. Big fuck off. Those are like one of the best parts of my body, I think, is my calves. Calves and biceps. My calves and biceps are my, my best. Uh, I think the rest of me just looks like a sack of, like, like soggy buns. Soggy buns. Just a load of buns put in a bag and it's been left out and it's rained and they've all oh. just gotten soggy and turned into a weird mulch. I wouldn't eat that. No, I wouldn't touch it. Wouldn't get near it with a ten no. barge pole. Ten, what's that even mean? I don't know. What is a barge <laughs> like, pole? What's a pole Didn't for a barge? It's a big pole. What are they going to do? I'm assuming, isn't it? Barge? Isn't that like used to like, kind of like maybe push boats out? Why would you put? Don't you row a boat? <laughs> 
Fucking hell, Oracle. Oracle's, Oracle's past life you as a as, as, <laughs> as, as a loan money. shark. <laughs> she used to be as a loan Balboa shark money lender. That's what she was, and she used to go around battering people's knees in with a barge pole. <laughs> that actually used to be my stepdad's job. <laughs> what, a barge poler? No, he used to take a hammer and just fuck up people's knees so that they'd pay their money. No, well, have fun. <laughs> See, fun. Now, these are the kind of... that story before. See, you're saying nothing interesting ever happened to me. Your stepdad was a kneecapper. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. It's not me, though, is We're it? We're coming back to this next session, all right? This, that's a promise to everybody here. And we've got a load of other stuff to go through as well that we have not even touched today. <laughs> so, Why didn't we touch it? Why you got such a big list? Because I like to list things. We I'll, usually talk about three things in each I podcast. I tell you what, if I, if I was old enough back in the day, I'd been in Schindler's List. This podcast went on too long and we still didn't talk. How long has this been going on? It's an been hour and a quarter. An hour and a quarter. We better wrap this up because we only wrap usually go an hour. So apologies to everybody that may have been watching. But we are just excited because we're back in the actual studio. We hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed my voice being in sync for the first time in yeah, 15 very strange, weeks. Very strange for me. I'm looking at you and it's just like, oh, exactly. Wow. Exactly, and it's weird that we're not watching ourselves either, because we're usually watching ourselves when we're on the pod. Yeah, so I don't know what my face looks like this whole time. So now I'm looking at you, and I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. I've got to stare at you the whole time. How do you think I feel? Exactly. You're looking at this mango pulp over here. But guys, don't forget, as always, to leave us a like, give us that sub, give us a comment, tell us what you thought of anything we've chatted about. We've chatted about a lot of shit today, we appreciate it, but if you've got any uh, interest in it, Give us a yeah. Give us a little uh, give us a little comment, but don't forget to sub. That's the main thing. Get that sub button, you son of a gun. If the camera went on me, it's my turn to talk. Talk to Buzzsaw. Pow, motherfuckers! Have a great weekend. Boo. We'll see you next week. And boogaloo, babies. We will see you next week. Ah. Talking about touch me, brother. Oh. oh, that really fucking hurt my hand. Yeah, about all right. All right. Let's dance as if the music's playing, even though we're adding it in post edit. Oh, okay. <laughs> She gon' let me bring it down for you.